Hello. <laughs> so yesterday I touched on uh, on the triggers, like going in the store, you know, I was already like a little zoned out because I had worked the night before and I was off that yesterday. So I only slept a little bit, you know, and I had things to do. So I just knew all my mood was kind of off a little bit. Um, and you know, when you're really exhausted, you could be triggered easily, right? And um, I just want to post on here that triggers they're not bad. They can feel like crap when we haven't dealt with them, you know, and we don't want to face them and we bury them down. But when a trigger comes up, it's actually um, good to realize, like, what is it that you are being triggered by? You know, why are you feeling that way? You know, you have to be aware and mindful of what is triggering you so you can get to the root of that and heal it. Heal it and deal with it. And because, you know, those things that hurt us can make us... Um, stuff them down, not want to deal with them, feel insecure, feel like these, all these emotions come up. So we want to deal with them. So when we are mindful and aware of what triggers us and, and how it makes us feel, um, we can be in the process of when it happens, we can realize like, okay, well, you know, that is affecting me this way and I'm not going to get overly emotional or lash out or withdraw or whatever because I know what it's about. And when we get to that root of it, we are setting ourselves free so we won't have to keep dealing with that over and over every time something triggers us. And you know, we can be triggered by smells, um, how someone looks, if they look like somebody that hurt us. We can be um, triggered by um, a conversation, other people's conversation, uh, even words, certain things. So just be mindful of that and aware of it so you can get to the root of that and heal it so it won't keep coming back and affecting you over and over.